Astros are going back to the World Series for the third out of fifth year straight. The Astros have become kind of a dynasty in the American League over the past five years. And yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about in today's video, the Astros going back to the World Series. Hopefully I can make a video about the Braves going back to the World Series later today or going back to the World Series, going to the World Series um, later today. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because 85% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications, and leave a like. It helps out the channel a ton. And for the like, it helps the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm likes the like button so much, you don't even know how much a like helps. All right, let's go ahead and get to this video. So the Astros... Get a lot of trash talk um, in the in the media state because of their trash can banging back in 2017, and that's definitely fair that they get all the trash talk that they do. But what can't be an understatement is that the Astros are a dang good baseball team. They are a very very good baseball team, and a team that is a legitimate team that could win the World Se that that that's very likely to win the World Series this year. And um, a lot of people can make the trash can jokes, and that's fine. But you've got to respect how good this team is. Carlos Correa is a great player who could get $300 million in the offseason. Kyle Tucker, very good. Jordan Alvarez, those two I want to touch on right now, because Jordan Alvarez has been great throughout the playoffs, and he's one of the best hitters in baseball that not enough people are talking about just because he's on such a stacked Astros team. Jordan Alvarez is so, so good, one of the best hitters in baseball, and he showed off that speed last night, which really helped them win this game and give them some insurance in that game versus the Red Sox yesterday in Game 6. Luis Garcia pitched a great game yesterday, five and two-thirds innings, one hit, he pitched absolutely phenomenal yesterday. And if he can say like that, that's key from a rookie. Um, and th this rotation is so good. You've got Lance McCullers, Framer Valdez, Luis Garcia. They've got such a good rotation. And the bullpen showed up to Kendall Graveman, um, Ryan Presley, Yemi Garcia, all those in the bullpen as well. Their whole team showed up. And they are a great team that, like I said, is advancing to the World Series after – beating the Red Sox in six games. I think I said it was going to be six or seven games. But for the Boston Red Sox, now you look ahead to next season, and the best and the worst thing for them was their hitting, which is not good. It Because with the Red Sox, their hitting is what leads this team. Bogars, Devers, Kyle Schwarber, Alex Verdugo, all of them really lead this team. They don't have the greatest pitching in the world at all. And if they don't have that hitting going at full force, then they are going to not be nearly as good of a team. And that's really why they beat the Rays. Their offense was so good. And that's why it looked like they had a demanding 2-1 lead. But in reality, they really didn't have a um, demanding 2-1 lead. And the Astros came back and um, won three straight in this series. And that's credit to the Astros as well. Um and obviously, the bad call kind of changed it with Avaldi in the seven-run ninth inning. That one game, that definitely hurt the Red Sox a lot. Um, definitely did. And the umpiring's been bad in the Braves-Dodgers series as well. But um, for the Astros, they're going on to the World Series. They're going to be facing the Braves to the Dodgers. Now, I was watching MLB tonight, and they kind of brung up a question like, who would you rather face right now? And I think the easy question is the Dodgers. With how bad the Dodgers starting is and how banged up the Dodgers starting pitching is, their only starters really right now are Bueller, um, I guess David Price, and um, Julio Urias. That's really it. Because Max Scherzer, he's got forearm, he's got some kind of forearm thing. And um, just like fatigue, and he's not going to be able to pitch in game six, which is a big bummer. I did a little short video on that earlier. Make sure to check out those videos. They only, you only have to watch them for less than a minute. They're literally always a minute or less. Like, I mean, there's no reason not to watch those. But um, I think it's easily the Dodgers, because the Dodgers obviously are coming back from a steep hill, being down 3-2, and having another bullpen game in game six, which is a big bummer. Um for them. And the Braves definitely are not a team you want to face right now. The offense has been very good. Eddie Rosario has been, I know Kiki was early on, but for the, the NL, NL ALCS, um, Eddie Rosario has been the big story of how good he's been. Eddie Rosario was the guy the Braves took a chance on at the deadline. Um, 
They got him from Cleveland. Cleveland signed him to a one-year prove-it deal in the offseason. And they gave up absolutely nothing. They gave up Pablo Sandoval, who was immediately um, released, just released from the team. They absolutely, the Cleveland baseball team got finessed. And the Braves revamped their whole outfield at the deadline, getting Jack Peterson, Jorge Soler, who have both been great for this team. And, um, yeah, I think it's clearly the Dodgers that is the easier matchup here. Astros-Dodgers is going to bring in a lot more attention to Major League Baseball, obviously. Um, but, yeah, so for the Astros, it's they, they've they had a great season. And, um, obviously, I predicted the Rays to win the World Series. But that wasn't, um, like, disregarding the Astros. Because the Astros, I knew, were a very, very solid team. And this Astros team, if they can keep up this, they might be the World Series winners in 2021. And people will definitely get off their butts about the trash can even after this World Series run, even if they don't win it, because of how because of how good they've been. And um, they they they're I mean, Dusty Baker has done a great job of managing too. He's not usually been too good in the postseason as far as managing. If I'm I'm not crazy because Dusty Baker currently has a um, record nobody really wants, and that is the most wins by a manager who has never won a World Series with 1,987 wins, but has not won a World Series. So he he would not only um, he would he would really be doing something to him, and he's a Hall of Fame manager. Dusty Baker is definitely a Hall of Fame manager, and there's some other guys on that coaching staff that could possibly get a managerial job in the off season. But the Astros, what a lot of people don't realize is this team may not look even close to the same next year. Carlos Gray is going to hit free agency. Kendall Graveman's going to hit free agency. Justin Verlander, who obviously is not playing right now, but still is a very, very good player. This team could change so dramatically next year to where they may, I mean, they'll still probably make the playoffs. But this team dramatically will change next year. Um, and Carlos Gray, it's not looking like he's going to come back. Kendall Graveman is going to cost quite a bit of money. And Verlander, I'm not sure what the cost of him is going to be just because he's been injured for the last two years. So um, we don't really know with Justin Verlander. But, um, yeah, so the Astros could look totally different next year. The Red Sox, though, it was a great season, a great run, making it all the way to the ALCS when people didn't, like me, didn't even think you would make the playoffs before the season. I had them as a fourth-place team before the season. I didn't even think they would make the playoffs. So it's a really good season by the Red Sox. Obviously, you come up short, which is um, which you never um, like to see if you're a fan of that team. But still, a remarkable season, beating the number one Rays, a big upset there, and even making the playoffs is a really good season. Um, so yeah, the Red Sox had a really good season. The Astros are advancing to the World Series and will face the Braves of the Do- Braves of the Dodgers. We might know the winner of that today. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications because 85% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so go ahead and get your life together and hit that subscribe button, turn notifications, and leave a like. Thank you for watching, and peace.